thought over because we have Alex Garnaschelli who has partnered with Dash to create innovative kitchen items so that we can get back in the kitchen and cook and use fresh ingredients and have delicious, delicious results. Almost patisserie worthy or that high end little boutique or that little, um, you know, bakery that you might go to to get that fancy little bunt cake. Now you can make it yourself in a really easy to use bunt cake maker, but that's not all you can make, which we'll go through. Iron Chef Alex Garnaschelli has brought us a really great way to cook and to have delicious foods, sweet and savory, in our kitchen. Here's the deal though, we started with six colors. We only have one color, now we call it oyster. It's this really beautiful gray with a very subtle hint of purple in the undertone, stunning. It's $44.98 to get this home. It's K51473 and Chef Alex is joining us today. So I'm, listen, I'm just gonna bunt it over to her because I bet she's got some good things in the kitchen that we can make. So Chef Alex, walk me through, why did you decide to create, oh, okay, we're gonna reconnect with Alex here in just a second. Um, but if you're ordering, it's K51473. Let me walk you through this because all you do is plug this in. One, you're not heating up your whole oven. You're not having to worry about fussing with the tray, right? All you do is you put your batter here for your bundt cake. So you do have a special divider that's gonna help you flip it. We'll talk about that in just a second. Here's your mold right on the front and on the top. You put in your batter, you close it, and then when it comes time, look, you can flip it. These remind me of the old um, waffle irons that I used to use at the ice cream shop when I would make the waffle cones. So now you have that great way to make a bun cake instead of ordering or buying your own. There's only 500 to go around, but Chef Alex brings us Alex by Dash. So welcome in Iron Chef. Welcome in Food Network star. Uh, it, incredibly accomplished person. You have to follow Chef Alex too on Instagram. Her stories are amazing. Alex, I got to bunt it to you in this one though. I really like your word, <laughs> word games today. The bunt, I love it. I'm down with it. Well, here I am in my own kitchen and I actually, I still have a fig and a blueberry colored one meandering around because I wasn't sure. And I have also the oyster that you're talking about. Now this piece of equipment is so easy to use. First, I want to just mention how you store it because you're thinking, where am I going to put this thing? But you can just turn the bunt maker and it stores this way. Oh, so sure. It's yeah, it's very like this. easy to store, right? You can just pop that on a Smart. shelf and pull it out. Now, at this time of year in the summertime, we don't want to turn on our oven. We don't need an oven. We can make a cake, a meatloaf, an egg cake, anything we want in here without ever turning on the oven. We just plug it in the wall and go. And here it is. We open it up. It's a rotary tabletop bunt maker. It makes eight inch bunt cakes. See all the beautiful ridges? I just made a classic vanilla. Um, just so you can see Ooh. how beautiful the indentations are when you when you pour the cake batter in here. And you have this beautiful removable tray. Magical thing. And by the way, this is dishwasher safe. You have to wipe out the bunt maker, but okay. this you can just pop in the dishwasher to clean it. Um you pour the batter in here, right? And we start simply by spraying. We spray the top and we spray the bottom like so. We make sure this is in place. We pour the batter inside, we close it. And as you were mentioning, you flip it over and you cook it. And then you flip it back and you open it up. Easy. And this is so easy instruction wise. You just have literally two buttons on the top. You plug it in and it's red when it's heating and green when it's hot enough. It's like standing in a traffic light. Yeah. When the light is green, you go. Now, the instructions give you a time, but it depends on the batter, how okay. long you want this to cook. Anywhere from eight to 12 minutes or so hot. I sometimes just unplug it and let the cake rest inside the, the, the butt maker so that it cools and comes in and cooks in the center a little bit more, um, but we don't need an oven. Did you make so, a monkey yes. bread next to you? Oh yeah, so this is a little monkey bread, but you could make a meatloaf. You could make uh, a frittata. You could a make a meatloaf. Egg. You could make a meatloaf, you could make an egg cake. And I mean, with Father's Day coming up, this type of stuff is so fun, but it doesn't matter. For the summer months, we're always looking for something that we can just put in, right? Easy. I'm gonna grab my cake batter and look at this. We literally just pour the batter right in there. 
Ooh, a nice yeah. chocolate bun cake. Make yourself a cream chocolate. cheese frosting. Close Please. it and flip it. You know, I'll never forget, right. Alex, uh, Chef Alex, there was this little um, bunt cake store near where um, we used to live in Minneapolis. First of all, they were rather right. pricey. Um, and my husband, like, fell in love with them. So he would always want one for, like, birthdays and things like that. For one bunt cake, I could have spent just as much as now I could on this. But now I'm not just making bunt cake. I can make bunt cakes. You could do a meatloaf, which really is like a ginormous meatball. My kids love meatballs. So I can get them to That's devour right. meatloaf as well. Right? And even an egg frittata all in one and it's really and chef alex you know as an iron chef yes it's great ingredients but there's something so special about that presentation even if it's a tuesday night with just you and your partner or your hubby for dinner presentation is everything yeah and then you see right here i put some chocolate cake batter and then it just you pop it open and there it is mm. and you literally just you, that's when that little tray just comes perfectly out look at that right out of there Every time we get that beautiful butt cake, right? And, and so that's the real thing. No sticky pans, no nothing. Just lift it up and out we are with See, the perfect cake every time, right? I bet and this is what all the chefs wish they had on the competition shows that you judge. Because <laughs> they well, know they could, get right. good results. <laughs> that's right. And then you see for cleaning, you literally, you just wipe out the two sides because both surfaces are nonstick. So you literally, you can take that little tray, remove it, pop that in the dishwasher or hand wash it, and just literally wipe this out and start again with Ooh. the spray and the batter. And we close. So easy. Red light, green light, right? Hey, Traffic Chef Alex, light, I got a green. question for you. Um, my favorite yeah. spice is a little Cajun Tony Sachery seasoning. It's my great uncle. Sure. And I would make mac and cheese with some Tony's. That's my spice, like non-negotiable, has to be in my kitchen. Um, what's, what right. is your favorite spice? Um, I'm glad you mentioned mac and cheese because I have put filled this with leftover mac and cheese and made a mac and cheese bundt cake. <laughs> oh, um, yes. my, my favorite spice, probably dried ginger because dried it adds ginger. a little bit of heat. But it's not super spicy. That's good. Because I find people like spicy, and some people do, some people don't. But everybody loves a little but zing, yeah. a little zip, and dry ginger does that. Ooh. <laughs> so you see how easy this is to use, and you just lift that cake. So good. Right out of there. So such a such a piece of cake. But again, meatloaf, turkey meatloaf, meat substitute, mm -hmm. beef, well, lamb, pork. Chef Alex, you've got some scones to make. That's coming up with you a little bit later. So Chef Alex Garnaschelli will be joining us again.